Hey, what's up guys? It's Kisei coming to you back once again with another beer review. And as we always do, let's jump right into it. And before I do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. We'd love to hear from you of beers that you want me to try, beers that you've been trying, and just conversing about just beer in general. So, jump back into it. Today's cup is going to be one of the etching ones where it says be hoppy and it has a nice little hop at the bottom of that can't see if you can tell but initially it's a little hop at the bottom of that and what that again as you all you know it's laser etched and it's going to allow bubbles to release which is going to provide a beautiful aromatic beer for us here in, in a second and today's beer it's a special one here um i'm going to go ahead and guarantee of uh, 98% of you have never had this because I've never had this for sure or even heard of it but we have a Japanese beer definitely got to have a shout out for Japan I've been to Japan a bunch of times well not a bunch but three times specifically and this one specifically is from Kyoto I've been to Kyoto Osaka uh, but Kyoto is one of those places that's very traditional and this beer is a green tea type of beer so that's gonna be wild I have no idea what to initially expect of this i'm kind of excited i love matcha tea um it's just green tea leaves that are like finely um produced and just kind of processed and every time i've had it normally it has like a little bit of like milk with it so it's kind of like a milky flavor uh to have this matcha i've had it with like mochi and again like it's it's just i love matcha in general so to have a matcha IPA is freaking wild. So I have no idea what to expect of this. So it's a matcha IPA, uh, green tea. It has some Japanese writing on there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know kanji that well to be able to, to translate that for you, but it is from uh, Kizakura's first Japanese style IPA, established in 1995, matcha IPA, green tea. Uh, and this is coming in at a smooth, actually, a little higher than anticipated at 8.5%. So yeah, um, a little bit of a higher um, alcohol percentage there, but definitely excited. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it. Um, I've never had this before. Uh, it's definitely gonna probably be my first Japanese beer now I think about it. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this off. Oh man, it came right off. Oh snap, love that, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour it. Pop the top like a drop top as I just did there. Moving out. Wow. What the heck? That is crazy. Yo, this beer is green. <laughs> it literally has matcha in it. It is green as all get out. This thing looks like the Incredible Hulk just but in like beer so then i call it this i'm gonna call this a a hulk ipa for sure and it has weirdly enough a matcha smell to it as well it's kind of uh like light herbal again it is tea so it's going to be kind of a herbal um hoppy smell to it it's very light and yes it smells kind of good actually so it's almost kind of like sweet too. Like I can tell that it's it's, good, it's possibly going to be sweet. So I'm going to drink into it and find that out for y'all. It says be happy, by the way. Man, yeah, that's matcha. If you've ever had matcha before, whether it's matcha mochi, matcha tea, matcha, you already know what. I'm kind of getting here because it tastes like that, but just a little bit bitter. Um, Cause it literally just tastes exactly like matcha. I would not anticipate that. It's that flavoring to be exactly spot on. I think that's awesome. Uh, so it's like matcha, it's very light. I'm trying again for you. It's light, it's a normal, like kind of slightly bitter uh, as you're tasting it, but then as it kind of settles, definitely gets that more um, earthy, bitter uh, IPA taste that you would normally expect. But in the beginning, it, again, it's really, it's kind of crisp, right? It's light far as a taste, but the texture and look of, like more of the look of it, looks like it's kind of heavier. So it starts off light, crisp, and then it slowly kind of gets heavier and denser into like a ground, 
earthier uh, bitter. So it's definitely kind of high up on there. I, I love that. So as I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I log this in untapped. Boom, doing that now. Go ahead and get this barcode. I'm hoping that it pulls it up. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to try to do it manually. We'll see. It looks like, oh, it picked it up. Awesome, yep, yeah, yeah, that is Kyoto. Uh, it says Kyoto Bakushu Matcha IPA from Kizakura Company, and it's an IPA, it's an international. So yeah, it picked all of that up, which is amazing. Take a picture of this. Again, don't forget to follow me on Untapped. Uh, username is key underscore say one that's k-e-y underscore s-a-y then the number one Just follow me on there definitely would love to uh, hear from you guys be able to see what you're drinking as well as you be able to follow me and what i'm drinking i'm gonna rate this up pretty high because again i am just a matcha fan i love all things matcha um, again, mochi matcha, um, there's matcha parfaits, just matcha tea on its own. And again, especially from Kyoto, where it's like renowned and known to be from because they have more of a traditional uh, lifestyle and culture there where things are like they literally walk around um, like with people inside of those carriages and like a person is like walking or really running through the streets and that type of old school taxi system. Like if you've ever been, please look it up. Super cool. Um, and so to know that it's from there, that's how I know this is like grown there organically and they process this into a beer. So definitely real good stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to rate this like a four, a four point four. Man, I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I've never rated an IPA this high before, but I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a 4.75 out of five. I love it again because I love matcha, definitely touching my heart here. So, and just kind of putting all the information on there. So, uh, but that's about it. Um, again, as I said always before, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. Please tell me if you've ever had an international beer. I'd love to know about international beers that you guys have tried. Just, man. Coming soon, I'm gonna actually travel somewhere pretty soon, and I'll tell you guys about that at a later time. But definitely would love to know about the international beers you've had, maybe some that you want me to try, places you want me to go, things of like that you go ahead and try to bring some back and uh, be able to review on for you guys. So, that being said, y'all take care, have a fantastic rest of your day, peace.